In this video, we will be looking at an option of uh, making this content at the bottom of the home page dynamic. And we have a few options here. Um, the one that we're going to use is snippets, which we've looked at before, which are small sections of um, code, of markup that can involve some EE code. Um, fairly quick to parse. We could also create a new channel called home page features and um, add the content and images and links here through the expression engine control panel where we could just leave it hard coded into the site and really what you do and what path you take um, is really just a matter of what the requirements are for the site and your own coding preferences if the client needs to be able to update it a lot then making a separate channel um, called home page features or something like that and doing something very similar to what we did with the pages um, field there would be appropriate. Um, in our case we we don't mind updating some HTML so we're going to keep it in snippet format but we do want to clean up our, our main templates so that, that'll be a nice little way of doing that. Let's go ahead then and come into our template for our home page. And what we're going to do is take each little section here and pull this out and we're going to create a snippet out of it. And I know that that was just um, a link to see, was that a link to services. So I'm going to say snippet services. And remember I'm using the prefix snippet which is not required but it just helps us know the difference and now we can see look page content is a custom field if we just said services, it could be a little confusing what that was, so snippets helps us out there. So let's go ahead, finish this, come into our snippets, and then we'll create a new one called snippet services. We'll paste our content in. Now notice that these href tags don't work. Now that we know that we could just say path equal to services, we can go ahead and update these links. So let's go ahead and do that in our services here. And remember the nice thing about snippets is that you could use some EE code inside of here. So we'll go ahead, update and finish. We'll just check the home page. It should look the same, but this should now link to my services page. Very nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and do these other ones real quick. I'm going to actually open the template up in another tab so that I can switch between uh, my snippets here and my template here. So I'll go into my home. This is going to be my work or portfolio snippet. that. Let's tap over snippet for the portfolio. Go ahead and paste that in and then we've got to now make these links work as well and we set the URL title ourselves so we know portfolio that's what it's going to be. update that one. I'm going to do the last one here, news. I'm going to call this snippet news. Go ahead, update the template one last time. Create our snippet. And we'll go ahead and make this to a path equal to news. And you might be thinking, hey, we don't have a path or a channel or a template group um, for news which is true and this will give us an opportunity to look at um, how we can handle 404 pages and what happens when um, a page does not actually exist for us. Um, actually building out a blog is something that's very easy to do with Expression Engine um, but it's just out of the scope of this specific tutorial series. So now that we have this new setup, let's go ahead and save that. 
and we have all of our snippets, we have all of our code updated. So let's go ahead and check out our home page and it shouldn't be any different except look at that now our portfolio works. And our services work. Great and no matter where we click it's working. Except when I click on news now notice what happens. It goes to news in the URL but it does not display a news page. In fact, it doesn't even tell us that this page doesn't exist. What it does is it displays the home page. And what this is is an indication and expression engine of how it handles 404s. By default, we could type in any URL, and if it's a wrong URL, expression engine will redirect you to the home page. That can be somewhat helpful, but it could also be a little bit confusing, and um, it does have the ability to create um, 404 rerouting. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. If we go back to our template manager, we can see across the top here one of the options is global template preferences. And if we come into that, um, the first option here is enable strict URLs. And what strict URLs allow you to do um, is if we turn that on, then it will no longer redirect you to the home page. And instead, you could choose your own home, your own page to be your 404 page. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on strict handling and we're very quickly going to go back into our template and we'll create a 404 page. Under the home template group, create a new template and call it 404. We're going to make it a web page and we're going to copy the format of the about page because that was one of our simplest pages and we're going to go ahead and create and edit it. We're going to delete all of this content here and we're just going to say h1 404 error page not found. Um, let's say Please contact us with any questions or view uh, portfolio to see my work. So this is just a helpful um, 404 page and we can make it even more helpful by adding links here and using the path parameter to just say I want to go to the path that is the contact template template group and it'll default to the index page or we could say go to the portfolio say path equals portfolio close that up and this is home 404 let's go ahead and save that and come back into our template preferences now for our 404 page we could select to have home 404 so if we update that and go back and look at our site, we're on the home page and we click on news. Notice that now it takes us to, it says news up top, but the page that displays is this 404 error page that we just created with, hopefully, yep, working links. There we go. And it looks like, notice up top here, notice that was never fixed. So let's just go ahead real quick and come back into look like in our header. Oh, these links up top were never updated. And all of our links to the home page we're going to say site URL instead of saying path equals home because we don't want home to show up in the URL. Let's go back and look at that again, refresh the page. There we go. So now that we have the home page taken care of, let's go ahead and look at the next page that has custom content on it, which is the services page.